Do you bend before God and these assembled witnesses, publicly affirm your faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as your own personal Savior, and express the desire that your life and the home you are about to establish shall be a testimony for him? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you, do you Libby, before God and these assembled witnesses, affirm your faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as your own personal Savior? and express the desire that your life and the home you're about to establish shall be a testimony for him? If so, answer, I do. I do. Okay, Ben, Libby, standing before all gathered here, you're going to exchange vows. I challenge you not to allow these vows to be just a one-time show. They're not intended just for today. They are intended for a moment right after a heated argument They're intended for a long vigil besides a terminally ill spouse. They are intended for a cruise celebrating 30 or 40 or 50 years of marriage. Vows should be displayed prominently and reflected on intentionally and cherished permanently. Okay, Ben, you can repeat after me. I, Ben, I, ben. take you, Libby, take you, Libby. To, be my wedded wife. to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold. from this day forward, from this day forward. For, better, for, worse. for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. In, sickness and in, health. in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. as long as we both shall live. Okay, Libby, you can repeat after me. I, Libby, take you, Ben, I, Libby, you ben. to be my wedded husband, to, be my wedded husband. To, have and to, hold to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward. For, better, for, worse. for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To love, and to, cherish, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. Now we're going to exchange rings. And a ring is a symbol of completeness. It's a circle. It has no beginning and no ending, and it represents the unbroken relationship of your marriage. It is also a symbol of submission, because it's put on the left hand. And as you wear it is a constant reminder of your vows and your commitment to here, here today. Your love is at a beginning, and by God's grace, and by following the word of God as the guide to your marriage, your love will grow and deepen and mature in the years to come. Ben, do you have a ring to symbolize that you will faithfully fulfill these vows spoken today? I do. And Libby, do you accept this ring as a token of Ben's commitment and love for you today? I will. Okay, Ben, as you place this on Libby's finger, you can repeat after me. Libby, with this ring, Libby, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Okay. And Libby, do you have a ring to symbolize that you will fulfill these vows exchanged today? I do. Ben, do you accept this ring as a token of Libby's love and commitment to you? I do. Okay. Okay, Libby, you can repeat after me. Ben, with this ring, ben, with this ring I, thee I thee wed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 